Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. I went to a funeral of a sweet Christian lady several years ago. She'd been rather homebound for a while, and she was old enough so that she'd already attended the funerals of most of her friends. But the large church that hosted the funeral was filled to capacity. People came out of the woodwork for this funeral. It seemed the whole city was there. Why? Because she loved and cared for people. She had a good name. When people thought of her, they thought of her gentleness, compassion, hospitality, and love. They saw Christ shining through her. I still think of her fondly. Back home about the same time, a man from my parents' church died. It's years later, and they're still talking about him in a negative light. He had been unpleasant and made the lives of people around him quite miserable. Most people, if they think of him at all, remember the negative things he said or the way he treated people. When I read Proverbs 10, 7, I automatically thought of these two people. I guarantee when I read it to you, two people will pop into your head too. It says, The memory of the righteous is blessed, but the name of the wicked will rot. Isn't that so true? In fact, there are certain names that were once used frequently, but now no one names their kids those names because one person in history made that name rotten. I mean, how many people do you know named Ahab or Jezebel? Judas, Benedict, or even Adolf. They're rotten names because rotten people had them. Yet generation after generation produces children with names like Mary, Joseph, Elizabeth, David, Joshua. All of those are blessed names. The name itself is blessed because of the people's character who we identify with those names. Even to this day, I'd immediately be suspicious of someone named Mark because of the memories of a little boy I grew up with. In fact, I don't think I could have brought myself to even date a guy named Mark. But I'd be willing to give anyone with the name of Joyce the benefit of the doubt just because of a lady I knew in Chattanooga. People leave a lasting impression. Back in Bible days, a person's name was even more representative of their character than today. For one thing, a person's name had a meaning and would often go with their character. For example, one man in the Old Testament named Nabal, or fool, proved himself to be incredibly foolish. And the name Jesus means the Lord is salvation, which is very appropriate. But no matter the meaning of the person's name, just the mention of their name would bring up memories, impressions, whether positive or negative. For example, the name Moses had quite a legacy with the Jews. He'd led their people out of bondage in Egypt, crossing the Red Sea on dry land, brought them their law, and led them through the wilderness for 40 years to the Promised Land. His name evoked thoughts of freedom, the law, authority, the power of God. And Solomon, their famous king, his name brought thoughts of wisdom, wealth, and the golden years of Israel. But how about Jeroboam? All through Kings and Chronicles, Jeroboam, son of Nebat, brought up the history of the divided kingdom and their descent into idol worship. He became the epitome of a wicked king. So Proverbs 10.7 almost forces us to ask the question, what will the mention of our names bring to people's minds after we have died? Proverbs 22.1 says, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver or gold. What legacy is your name leaving? Is it leaving the imprint of the Father on the lives of those you come in contact with each day? May your name bring a smile to all those who know you. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember... Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.